it's Alyssa from RomeWise, your go-to guide to Rome. Today we are going to talk about the Angelus. What is the Angelus? How do you get there? What time should you come? And what it's like? Ready? Here we go. So I'm here at St. Peter's Square. I'm actually outside of it. It's Sunday, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. In two hours, the Pope will come out of the window of the Apostolic Palace, that's where he lives or where he's supposed to live, um, and give the Angelus. It's a free thing to do. It's a greeting that the Pope does for all the visitors in the square, and you can come and do this yourself. It's very easy. The issue is that now security is so tight, you really have to get down here quite early and manage the security situation. It used to be you could just show up at 11, 11.30, and see the Angelus. That's no longer the case. On Sundays now they have this thing set up here and we have to go in over there to security and get in the square. Of course, once you're in the square, you can stay as long as you want. Uh, you can go visit St. Peter's Basilica if you want to. That's not closed during the Angelus the way it is during the papal audience, which is on Wednesdays. But first, we have to go through security. It's basically a little bit less intense than airport security, but you've got to just show your bags. And again, at 10 o'clock on a Sunday morning, it's not too bad. On previous occasions, I've been here and seen the Angelus from out here because St. Peter's Square at noon has gotten so full and so crowded and the lines are so long that it's really difficult. But we're here early enough that we can pop in. This is a great opportunity to head into St. Peter's Basilica and enjoy the beauty of this Renaissance church designed by Michelangelo among many other artists and architects. You guys, this is so cool. Because we went through security for the Angelus, they don't have the security set up over here, and you can just walk into the basilica. What this means is that there is no line to get into the basilica on Sunday morning before the Angelus. Well, I would say up until about 10, 10.30, the line to get into St. Peter's Square is going to start getting big. But once you're in the square, you don't have to stand in that big line that's usually there under the colonnade. So I'm seeing people just walking right into the basilica. This is fantastic. I'd have to say that's a pretty cool benefit of coming down here on Sunday morning at 10 o'clock uh, before an Angelus. So if you're coming for the Angelus and it's a summer month like now, um, if you're not gonna go into St. Peter's Basilica, you can be dressed like this, bare shoulders, but if you plan to go into the Basilica, you definitely have to have covered knees and covered shoulders. I always have a scarf in my bag for this reason. So I can be comfortable out in the sun, and of course I can be appropriately and respectfully dressed when I go into that church or any church. The square's gonna start filling up, and at noon on the dot, the Pope comes out of the window up there. So it is pretty special to see him. You see him a little bit from afar, but with good binoculars, you can see him pretty up close, and with your camera, if you can get a zoom in, you can see him pretty well. It's a 15 minute greeting. He'll pop back in and then you'll be done. And after that, you can continue visiting the square if you want to, if you got here late, or head on out. So after the Angelus, you can just come right on in here. There is a big crowd because after the Angelus, of course, everybody's coming into the Basilica. So it does pay to come before the Angelus, like I showed you earlier, about 10 o'clock. You can expect the Basilica to be pretty crowded, but of course, it's still worth a visit. Remember, Sundays, the Vatican Museums are closed unless it's the last Sunday of the month in which they are open and they're free. I don't really recommend that as a good day to visit the Vatican Museums just because it's completely packed. Uh, more so than other days, but if that's what you want to do or if this is the only day you have Then you can visit the Vatican Museums on the last Sunday of the month Otherwise consider your visit here to be a Sunday visit visit the church visit the Basilica see the Pope and What a great way to start a Sunday in Rome I hope you've enjoyed that video all about how to come watch the Angelus in st. Peter's Square if you did please hit the like button below and subscribe see you at the next video ciao for now